You don't devalue people's value. Ooh, I like that. Let's talk about that. Don't devalue people's value. What am I saying? I'm saying somebody who's been doing this for 20 years, that's what you're buying into. There's nothing that I'm telling you guys that I learned overnight. I've learned by trial and error, by working for people for a very long time. I used to work under producers since 2001 for a long time, learning. That's how I paid my dues, learning, working for a little bit of nothing, sometimes working for nothing, just learning, learning, learning. Then starting in about 2010, 2011, I started learning how to raise financing to do my own projects. And since then, I've done almost 15 projects, right? But there's a value into all the years of me learning how this business works. So you never want to devalue somebody's business or their worth. You always want to acknowledge this person has put in years into this industry. So I know if she critiques or looks at my information is from her years of experience in the business. So you want to make sure you understand that even for me, when I go to people and I need help, I go to them in a, in a way that I know I'm asking for their years of experience. So uh, make sure you do have mentors. Um, Isaiah, this is a good suggestion for you too. Make sure you have mentors. Make sure you have people that you can go to that you trust can give you valuable critique. If your mama looks at it, that's not valuable critique. I know all our mamas are going to tell us it's amazing. Baby, it's great. All of our mothers are going to tell us that, right? When I say valuable critique is somebody that has actually been tried and true in the business, who has done it at a high level. Very, very important. Who's done it at a high level. Because now you're getting their critique based off of their experience, based off their know-how, based off of them being involved in the industry. So for example, when you talk about short films, I've done a lot of short films, I've done short films at one. I've done short films. I go to film festivals all the time. So I'm always seeing a pulse of what people want to see, of what people expect. I know where to sell short films. Yes, you can sell short films, guys. You can sell them. You can make some money off your short film. There's a lot of ways to do that. But that is a value, and that's a value you have to pay for. Um, that's not a value that you just give away. You know, what we do, a lot of us on Instagram, we'll tell you the how. We'll tell you the why. Will tell you the basis, but with the execution, that's where you start getting your mentors to do. Your mentors start telling you how to execute, or you pay people to tell you or teach you how to execute. That that's the importance of it. Uh, people, uh, you have to pay for that. So, for example, when I want great graphics, I want my website amazing. I want people to help me put together packages. I never come to them for it for free. I always know I have to pay for it. And even there's times that people offer to do stuff for me for free, and I don't. You gotta understand this, there's a reason why, right? A lot of times you won't do it for free, or I don't want people to do it for free because I want them to understand there's a value in what they're doing. I don't care if you pay them $5. There's a value in what people are doing. And when you start understanding it, you start value, valuing yourself more too. Because you should value yourself too in your time. And you should understand that when there's an exchange of commerce, the expectation by both parties is higher. People feel good about themselves. People feel good like, oh my gosh, you paid me $5 to do this or $20 or $100 or $200 to do this. You feel better about yourself. You start feeling more worthy. And you, your expectation of the person is higher. Now you can ask them some questions that you normally couldn't ask them. So always put a value on everything.